What is up guys? How you doing? Just kidding, I don't care. Today I'm gonna show you my comic book collection of 2019. Uh, I'm doing this for a subscriber who was asking me to do this and I thought, yeah sure, why not? And these are the comics that I've been collecting for the last year and a half. Uh, I haven't been able to do it that much because my comic book store closed down for about six months and now it's back on, so I'm going back to collecting them. So anyways, here's my uh, entire collection of comic books in 2019 so here are my first of the batman huntress series this was my first batman comic so of course i keep it on top this is batman and the outsiders i don't really like the design of this but you know it has batman on, on it so yeah issue number 26 here's the catwoman comic issue number 21 the only reason i bought this was because i wanted to read any catwoman comic and this is the only one that was there this is the Genesis Batman. Uh, they made this, uh, well, they made a completely new design of the Batman. And I like the design apart from the ears. That's way too long. So this is issue 547, part one of one. I have no idea why they put what that isn't any standalone comic part one of one. You know, I don't get it. Justice League of America, issue 98, encircled. Uh, Wonder Woman, it doesn't really sh say what issue it is, but it was released in 1987, so I think this can be worth something. Um, this one's Green Lantern, Hero Quest, Chapter 303. Basically, he meets Wonder Woman, and they fight for a little while. Issue number 73. It's a great one. Superman, Beyond the Void by Lantern's Light. Uh, obviously, it's a crossover with Superman and Green Lantern. This is my most expensive comic book. It was $100 because this was a pretty rare storyline where Batman and Superman have their power switch. Well, basically, Batman gains Superman's powers. So, And there weren't really that many of them. They made 20 of them. Then they took it down because they thought it was a dumb idea. I thought it was a cool idea, but, you know, I think it's cool. This is another one of Batman v Superman, issue number 61. This one's Superman's Kryptonitemare, uh, issue number, doesn't really say the name, but it's like the 50 year anniversary, that's when this was released, and Superman's 80 years old, so that was 30 years ago, almost 31. Superman, Truth, Justice, and the American Way, issue number 53, released in 1991. One of the first ones, the only reason I got it was because it was colorful and I liked the cover, so I picked that one. Superman in Space. This is a pretty cool storyline where he has to lead the entire universe. Not just this universe, but over universe, even farther than Krypton was. This one's The Adventures of Superman, uh, week three of the Millennium. The Millennium was this kind of idea they had in the 50 year anniversary where they wanted to see what would, it was like if Superman never even went to Earth. He was raised in a different planet. And now from DC to Marvel, the rest is just Marvel. This one's Doctor Strange, Sorcerer No More. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool story. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, issue number 33. Thanos is in this one. So that's pretty much why I got it. Thanos is in this one. In the ending of Doctor Strange, uh, Sorcerer Supreme No More, um, we see Dormammu. He comes back. If you don't know, Dormammu is the villain in Doctor Strange. Yeah. I've come to bargain. So, anyways, this is the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This was issue number nine. Literally, I bought it just because I wanted an Avengers comic. And there was no other, so yeah. Captain America, issue number 289. And it has an extra here of what his girlfriend, I forgot her name, uh, Patty? Yeah. Uh, it has like a little extra um, on Patty's imagination on what it would be like if she was Captain America. So I thought that was pretty cool. Black Panther, issue number three. This does not come in packet. I bought this at a fair. And I didn't see any Black Panther comics, so I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. The Incredible Hulk, issue number 447, released in 1996. Savage Redefined. Basically, it was, uh, they were trying to do a new art style for the Hulk, because this was the style that they used back then, so they were trying to make it look more savage like more like a monster and not like well that angry kid that you didn't want to mess with in middle school yeah so this is the incredible hulk big monster on campus 
number 226. This one's the Invincible Iron Man issue number one because they decided to completely remake the Iron Man comic series. And I thought that was cool. Uh, Sleepwalker Part 2 of 2 Make Way Spider-Man. Uh, this is a crossover with Sleepwalker. Uh, I don't think you know that superhero. He's not really well known, but anyways. I got this because it basically was a crossover between Spider-Man. And there are very few Spider-Man comics where I go, so yeah. This was also a comic that I bought in the fair with the Black Panther. This was Spider-Man Sub-City Part 2 of 2 where he has the symbiote. And I thought that was pretty cool, so yeah. This one, I'm really happy I got. This is the Spider-Man 2099 special, where it's one of the dimensions, you know, like Spider-Man Noir, Penny Parker, Spider-Ham. This was one of them, but it wasn't in the Into the Spider-Verse movie, except for the end credit sequence. But, you know, I'm glad I got this one. Spider-Man 2099. This, a friend gave it to me. This was from when the Venom movie was released. Although this isn't really worth anything because it's already opened and the packaging isn't used for comics, so it's kind of worthless, but I still, I still keep it. I mean, it's a collectible, but it's not going to be worth anything because, yeah. But you know, I like the art style. And then comes the X-Men slash Wolverine. Uh, this one was already broken on top, so I just went ahead and read it because there's really no point in keeping it and packaging it. It's already broken. So this is the Wolverine Coyote Crossing Part 4. So it's a really good story. I recommend it. This one's Wolverine Nowhere to Run, Not Dead Yet, Part 2 out of 4. And this is issue number 120 of the Wolverine standalone series. For those of you who don't know, Wolverine got his own comic series after X-Men. This one is from the X-Men Deluxe um, version. Where Wolverine is the main focus, but still there are X-Men there. Same with this one. X-Men Deluxe, the Wolverine. I love that name so much. This one I got for obvious reasons. Wolverine Days of Future Past. Uh, old grudges. Yes, new allies. Part 2 of a 3-issue special. I have not gotten the other two. Uh, what am I saying? The other two, so... Yeah. Just gonna put that there. Uh oh. This one is X Men The Soul Skinner. Uh, this was released right after a 30th anniversary of Spider Man. So, yeah. And X Men Classics 30 Years of X Men The Warfare. And it's a cool comic. And that's my comic collection of 2019. I'm glad you watched this. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this isn't something I usually do, but you know what? Why not? Why not? I like to show off for obvious. Obviously. Obviously. So, anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to see more of this, uh, subscribe and click the notification button. And keep watching. Bye.